everyone, I am free. It's March 14th, 2023. I'm in the town of Covington, Washington in King County. Here at the USPS for Covington, which just so happens to be an exclusive jurisdiction facility. So we're gonna go in and check it out and make sure they respect our liberties to record and photograph in public. Totally okay. All right, good talk. back there the one that went through this door with her phone mm -hmm. she just used her personal phone to take video of me so I need a I need you to tell her to keep record of that because I'm gonna do a Freedom of Information Act request for public records from her okay. personal phone tell her not to delete that that's a crime if she deletes it All right, four, three, four, okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna show this office. Cool. There, we got a call about you yelling at some people Yelling at people? Yeah. Okay. Never yelled at a single person. I got it on video the whole time. Alrighty. Well, it seems like the property owners do not want you on the property and it wants to pay to leave. Ooh. So we got a couple problems here. A, you're committing a felony right now. How so? I did a public records request between the county as well as the city of Covington and this postal office. Mm -hmm. This postal property is exclusive jurisdiction. It's not concurrent legislative jurisdiction, mm -hmm. which means unless you're a federal peace officer, and if you are, then you, you need to tell me, you have that much jurisdiction here, as in 0%. I have the evidence on me right now if you want to see it. So here's what I'm going to tell you when I show you this. Mm -hmm. I need you to get off the property with that firearm because you're not allowed to be here with it. And I do mean that. I will call the FBI. I will have someone come over here and you will go to jail. Anything else for you today, sir? So that's how that's going to work. So I'll show it to you and then I'm going to politely ask you to leave with that firearm. Or go off the property and take your weapons off and then come back in. You're not allowed to be here with it. So I'll show you the stuff. You too. So first of all, this right here is over on that wall over there. It's poster seven. It says I can take photographs or use advertising for commercial purposes. This is the rules of conduct on this property. Yeah, this, you can is, talk to RP yeah. this is an email from the strategic you committee. Are you, are you, are you, are you going to talk to RP? Uh, do you want to talk to him? I'll talk to RP. Sure, I'll talk to him. Okay. Uh, may I ask your first name? Gandalf. Gandalf Lou. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is an email from the strategic Gandalf's committee. Gandalf's not your real name, is it? Because if it is, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> So this is an email yeah. from Rod Spurgeon from the USPS. Okay. He works for the Postmaster General. Okay. He clarified that, in fact, I can be in here filming. Okay. Okay. 
hey, I, I well, have no issues with I know. you filming, right? Like, I know. I, I don't care about any of that. I get, you know? I get yeah. that. But what I'm also saying is, you're not allowed to be here with that okay. firearm, so you get, you're, you're going to need to go with that. Okay. 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 So the other thing is back here. Right here. Yeah, I do. Okay. But but they can also just say facilities and services of other agencies. Unless you guys have an interlocal agreement okay. with the Secretary of Homeland Security, that and all your other weapons can't be here. So I'm gonna need you guys to either take your weapons off and go out to the car, or... Sir, we aren't really here to argue with you, but it does appear like the post office and people working at the post office do want you trespass. They did tell me they to can't trespass do that. you. You can't do that. You are being trespassed okay, let me, at let this me, time. Let me tell you, if you do this, there's gonna be a couple of problems for you. Hmm? I'm gonna ask, and you know, it's up to the federal government if they wanna do this. If you do this under threat, or if I don't leave, are you gonna arrest me? Yeah, you will be arrested for trespass. Okay. Yep. All right. You won't be arrested for trespass. You You'll, you are being warned of the trespass in the beginning. And so how it works in King County, and I know you're going to say federal government and property, right? How it works and how, how we are trained is that you get the warning first, right? So you have the opportunity to go and leave. For, for and the administrative back, code. Yep. And then if 460 you 300 back, right, yep. then you have a copy of that trespass that just says that, you know, you're not supposed to be on the property, right? So I do need, I do need that the yep. trespass warning card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lemus, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, give you a trespass warning? Yeah. Yes. And do you want to do this, Luke? I am totally on board with what my recruit wants to do. So okay. the, the the people here just want you to probably just leave, right? That's probably just probably to, the you're most. You're going to have to threaten me with arrest to, to leave. So that means the trespass warning. Okay. Because if I'm under duress of arrest, you've put the ring on it, you've committed a federal crime, mm. you've committed a federal crime, okay. and then you guys will have to pay for that in court. That's just how it is. But I mean, I'm not going to go to jail over this. If you guys want to do well, a I don't, civil suit? I don't want you to go to jail. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's like, they, I think, have you asked him to leave? No. So, okay, if, if you're saying no and she's saying yes, can, you, can you just ask him to leave then? Is that a request? Yeah, or you, like you to leave. Is that a request or are you ordering me off the property? I'm ordering you okay, already. and you guys are going to arrest me if I don't leave? Huh? All right. We're not going to arrest them. We're, we are going asking you politely to leave. No, if you're requesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not? requesting, she's ordering. Yeah, well, she's not the one with handcuffs. So here's the thing. If you guys are going to implement her will mm. to have me off this property unlawfully mm. you guys are going to have to accept responsibility over this so what that means is i need to hear from you that you're going to get a no trespass warning get the, the no trespass warning and give it to him give him a reasonable time to vacate the the property all right bam and then we'll go from there cool and it needs to and, yeah it it's in the back include. it's in the back so there's a there's the clipboard and it's inside the clipboard stuff and if not then it's inside all the i need all five files, elements okay? of what of subsection for that lack 468 306 can i ask you a question are you doing this and have all this paperwork because you wanted a police response no okay because i knew from tips and leads that i got mm -hmm that Covington had problems with understanding what the boundaries are between federal jurisdiction and Covington as in police? Yes. And King County. And King County? Yep. Okay. So what exactly are we not understanding? Look, Lou, I just showed you, you just said you're not interested in going over it. If you're not interested in going over it, that's fine. Okay. You think you're in the right. I know you're not. You think okay. I'm in the wrong. Okay. We'll, we'll handle it in court. Okay. So, I mean, for now, I mean, are you going to stay here all day? Listen, bothering the nice people that work listen, here. Lou, I'm going to be really clear about this. Okay. Okay? Really okay. clear. It's going to take the no trespass warning with threat of arrest upon my return to get me off this property. You're going to put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. and you put a ring on it, and you're then culpable for forcing me off this property under duress of arrest. Okay. Now I've got an actionable cause to take the King County Sheriff's Department okay. and the USPS to court. That's all I'm looking for here. You guys want to do that? Cool. That's fine. So your aim is to my aim be is here. to have my aim is first of all to have you remove your firearms from this property since it's an exclusive yeah. jurisdiction. You don't have authority to have it here. Mm -hmm. I know joke and laugh now. I know you guys don't believe it. I tried to show you the the statute. Mm -hmm. It's Title Forty, United States Code, thirteen fifteen, okay. subsection B three. Okay.
that I did a public records request with the King County Sheriff's Department mm -hmm. and the City of Covington. Okay. Guess what you guys don't have? What do we have? An interlocal agreement to provide local law enforcement assistance at an exclusive jurisdiction. It would be like going to Bremerton Naval Yards. Can you guys go into the Bremerton Naval Yards and enforce King County's Washington State laws there? Like no, a, you can't. That's like a naval base, right? It's an exclusive jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. This is one of 82 post, 8,200 post offices that have the same thing. It's a lot. There's 22,500 that are. Is there a police department that would administer for all of those postal offices? Like exclusive? Like it's, yeah, so it's like, like the military police has? Yeah, so what would happen is it's actually so that postmaster over there would actually get a hold of the federal postal inspector okay. for this section okay. of the United States. Okay. She would say, I want to have an interlocal agreement so that law enforcement can show up here and enforce laws on here. Okay. As long as the chief postal inspector for the federal postal inspection service mm -hmm. gets the okay or signs off on it okay. with her signature okay. for that interlocal agreement, then you guys could be here. Okay. Now the one that's over in Kent. Mm -hmm proper at uh, 240th Street, I think it is, that one is a leased property. You guys actually have jurisdiction there. Okay. You don't have jurisdiction here. So the thing is, is while you guys are nodding going, got it, you might want to actually make sure that you got no, it. I'm, I'm, I am acknowledging what you're saying. Yeah, okay. All right. So, all right. But here's, so what I'd recommend is get a sergeant, a corporal, lieutenant, that can come down, have the conversation. Because here's the thing you can do. You can avoid the whole problem by just simply taking a little extra time to investigate, determine if what I'm saying is true. If it's true, then you guys can walk away, stop committing felonies, and then do the right thing. So am I going to get a no trespass mark? Yeah, we're, we're getting on the trespass mark. Okay, all right. Uh, Lemus, what's your batch number? Oh, it should be 111-972. 111-972. Yeah, that's my identification number. Okay, that works, yeah. That's all right. Are you guys going to request a sergeant corporal? Somewhere? Are you requesting a sergeant? Oh, yeah. Be here? Yeah. There you go. I just want to say that I've exhausted every available option. Hey, ma'am, don't delete that video, okay? Because I'm going to do a FOIA request on your cell phone. If you, if you delete that video or photos, it's it's a crime, okay? You're you're a postal employee. I'm just going to be back in. You guys are requesting the sergeant then? Yeah, he's on his way. Cool, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> By the way, you're the postmaster, right? No? I'm the manager of this building. The manager, okay. Yes. And what's your name? Uh, Carolyn. Carolyn, okay. <laughs> Do you know who Rod Spurgeon is at the USPS? What's the last name? Spurgeon, S-P-U-R-G-E-O-N. He works, he's the Western District Strategic Communications Manager for the USPS. Uh -huh. Might want to email him. I got an email in my pocket from him saying I can do exactly this. Okay. I will uh, check with them, okay? Yeah. You might want to do it quick because if I get forced off this property, you're going to pay dearly for it. Is that a Spurgeon? Spurgeon. Rod Spurgeon. Do you want to see the email? Oh, let me just uh, call. Yeah. You might want to do that. You might want to do it quick. Because if these people right here get me off this property, you're going to pay your name? Spurgeon. And what's your name, sir? Uh, call me Gandalf. Uh -huh. Gandalf. Gandalf? Gandalf. Yeah. Can I help you? You know, while the First Amendment is pretty awesome, you know what one of the other best amendments in the first 10 are? It's the seventh. It's great. It allows you to go and have a civil conversation in front of an arbiter, usually a judge, and you can resolve the problems without tasings, beatings, shootings, all that kind of stuff. And my God, it, it gets, gets you the option to kind of get a little bit of a bump into the general revenue fund of King County. Just like a, you know, beep. A little extra payout, pay off your mortgage, you know. 
Oh, Maybe get a cool car. Oh. Things like that. I, think I, bet. I, I always love the, the hubris yeah. smiles, by the way. So They're the best. Sense. They're the best. Yeah. By the way, any of you like steak dinners? Yeah, let's give me the spelling, Sorry, sir. Sorry, I have my radio going. I can, huh? can you get the, full, uh, the spelling? Of, yeah, uh, it's S P. Here, I'll just, I'll just show you the email from from him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now I don't want you to take this. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just gonna check it. Yeah. The last. The uh, here is the email from him. Is it? That's from Rod Spurgeon. So it's uh. One dollar and there we go. Rod dot J dot Spurgeon at, at USPS.com right there. Uh, that's okay. Okay, yeah, I'd get on the phone with him something yeah. quick. Real quick. Oh, by the way, what's your badge number Dam Damaro? Yeah. Damaro? Damaro. Damaro, okay. Badge number ten eighty four. All right. By the way, Gonzalez, can I get your badge number? He's still on his way. 1231, cool, thanks. What was your badge number? Blue 106584. Oh, okay. He's on his way. Was he in the meeting? Was that what it was? I thought he was on the meeting. I think so. Okay. Oh, by the way, so, Lou, you definitely see him like you're the, by your attitude, by the, the most senior person here. Is that I'm the case? I'm actually not. Oh, wow, look at that. Damro's playing all clever over here. So thanks, Lou. Oh, sorry. So Damro, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to provide an, an opportunity to have you call a guy at the post office, her boss, the one that sent me the email saying I can do exactly what I'm doing right now. Look, I don't have my department cell phone on me, so I have to go get it. Or have someone else do it. But his name's Rod Spurgeon. He works down at the Western District Management Office for the Western part of the United States, mm -hmm. down in Utah. Okay. So really he sent me an email right saying I can do exactly what I'm doing here, and that's her boss. Do you mind if I read that? Or? Gosh, no, not at all. Not in the slightest. So these first two pages are that email. Okay. So the first page is the first part of it. How's your segment going? This is the fun part. Mm -hmm. This is the fun part. And by the way, Lou, I wasn't kidding. Yeah. That's my ID. Nice. See? I am the wizard. I am the very wizard you thought I was. Uh, You're just lacking the beard, though. You, need the beard. you haven't seen just how goddamn old I am under this. Right? My ISIS mask is covering everything up here. I knew it. When you guys walked in, you're like, ah, it's another ISIS terrorist. It's Gandalf the ISIS wizard. I saw the Rue smile, by the way, so I'm guessing you're a Lord of the Rings fan. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. <laughs> no wrong. No wrong with that. Not an expert, but. Okay. All right. Anyways, I was going to bet you all steak dinner if you like steak dinners. That if I get uh, a no trespass warning off here. How many days do you think it'll be till I get a return to my property? Just take a wild stab in the dark. Any any guess? Come on, there's a steak dinner on the line here, right? Uh, I'm honestly not that sure, sir. Come on, it's, it's so American to bet over shit like this. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. There's, it's Gandalf, right? There's yeah. A, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. There's my ID. Okay. Gandalf the White. I yeah. love it. Oh, there's the sergeant. Oh. Hey, okay, sir. What's going on? Well, I was just uh, in here. Okay. Recording. Okay. Doing photographs. Are you the chief? I am. Okay. I was like, that doesn't look like Sergeant Ranks. No, stars. we're on both at the same time. Okay. So, anyways, I was in here recording and photographing, and I have expressed permission to do that. Okay. Which I just showed Damaro. Okay. I let the postmaster or the supervisor know that her boss gave me express permission, but specifically, even above and beyond that, the rules and regulations for conduct on postal properties over there on the wall. 
it specifically allows me to do this. They don't actually have any lawful authority to order me off the property. They can't trespass me. Are you talking about the post office? <laughs> yes, they cannot trespass me over this because of the rules on the wall up there. I'm happy okay. to show you the rules if you want to take All a quick right, look. Let's go look at them. Sure, I appreciate that. This gives you I was like, sergeant rank changed a lot to three stars. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. So, these rules governing conduct on post property, it's actually a subset of a Code of Federal Regulations, Title 39 of Code of Federal Regulations 232.1. This right here says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrance, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited. And it says, other photography requires permission. Okay, so you have that permission you said? Absolutely, I do. That uh, top one right there. Okay. If you go to the second page at the top, it says, who are other authorized personnel? It says, no one's other authorized personnel except for the Postmaster General. It's just the entire, if you want to read it, it's probably worth reading both pages because that's me talking with Rod Spurgeon from the USPS. Okay. He's the Western District Strategic Communications Manager. Okay, for so he's responding to you. Yeah. All right. So, do you know why they asked you to leave? She, okay, well, she never asked me to leave, first of all. I got the entire thing on camera. Okay. Second of all, so she clearly called the police, right? right? That's why you guys are here. When you guys got here, she then told King County Sheriff's Department that they want, that she wants me trespass, that I'm not allowed to record. Okay. Obviously not the case, right? Right. So, I told her that I'm not leaving because I don't have to. She doesn't have the lawful authority to trespass me from this property because not only of this, but the clarification. Of okay, I don't disagree with you. I will talk to them uh, and let them know that if they want you removed, they would need to contact the postmaster the or the postal inspector. Postal inspector. inspector. So that's Holy for you. Crap. All right, so Good give, me, this bump? Yeah, give me All a right. few minutes and I will uh, I'll talk to them. All right. Okay, we're not guys we good for a huddle here I like to call these freedom huddles mm. <laughs> and it's actually really important to understand that uh, I'm an, I'm a representative of freedom here okay. so Gandalf the freedom wizard is really what it is and it. so uh, we didn't even get to get to the steak dinner wise move Gonzalez and Lemus wise move there anyways I was gonna bet you all a steak dinner if you like steak dinners that if I get uh, a no trespass warning off here, how many days do you think it'll be till I get a return to my property? Just take a wild stab in the dark. Any any guess? Come on, there's a steak dinner on the line here, right? Yeah, I'm honest not that sure, sir. Come on, it's, it's so American to bet over shit like this. Come on. And I'll also let the chief know that uh, we need to make sure that it's either the postal specter that shows up from now on or you guys need to go beltless from now on. So, if I can't bring my gun here, you guys can't either. Let's be fair. Let's be reasonable here. All right, guys, we're done. All right, sir. You guys take care. All right, guys. There we go. Have a good day. How you doing? Good. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate it.
Hey, Chief. Thank really you. appreciate that. Yeah. Seriously. Well, the Second rules are the rules, right? The rules are huh? the rules. They, so absolutely. We don't, we're not going to go out of our Holy way to make Holy shit, do you guys hear that? <laughs> it sounds like the screams of bald eagles flying around here. It's like there's so much freedom. You guys might be drunk on freedom. Maybe. All right. Yeah, see you guys later. Nice, Woo! So much freedom. Look at that. Look at it. See you later. Yes. That's how it works. There you go, guys. Four King County Sheriff's deputies and a sergeant that's contracted, or, sorry, a chief of police is contracted as a sergeant with the King County Sheriff's Department. We'll just make one more run through here just to really nail this one home. I'm not in. Well, there you go, guys. Boy, that was about to get ugly. Woo! Exclusive federal property, and they were bringing their naughty firearms onto the property. That's all right. I'll uh, square that away with the uh, sheriff's department in an email later, but that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it.